In this lecture, you will be learning how to start and stop your database. You may want to do this when you want to save costs on your database instance, because you may not want to have your database running all the time. You can stop your database instance for up to 7 days. If you don't, <coughs> if you don't manually start your database after 7 days, then the instance will be automatically started. This happens so that the instance doesn't fall behind any required maintenance updates for the hardware on the line operating system or even the database engine version. To stop your database instance, select the database you want to stop, then select action and then select stop temporarily. Here you need to acknowledge that the database will be automatically restarted after 7 days which will be February 27. So let's acknowledge this. For the snapshot, this is optional, so we can proceed to selecting stop temporarily. This process may take a few minutes to complete. So here I have another database engine, right? So to start your database engine, select the database, select action, and select start. This process will also take a few minutes to complete. So my database was successfully stopped, right? So I'm going to restart it. And in the next lecture, we're going to be taking a look at how we can modify our databases.